Hello everybody, Yemen and Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 After the End. In the last episode, we finished our war with the Holy Columbian Confederacy and took the titles in the one county we were working on, I think it was this one, uh, and brought those into the Empire where they should be. It also looks like one of our vassals went ahead and grabbed this county down here as well, which I am not against. Barony of Lynchburg is held by the Presidency of the Americanist faith. We might have to resolve that issue at some point. Um, and then while we were just kind of going about a lot of the more mundane aspects of managing our empire, preparing for what could potentially be the next war, which is our great holy war with the Redcoats over New England, um, our empress died and we are now succeeded by high fabricator rachel the 13 year old empress and so we have a few years of uh, regency to go through before we can actually do a lot of the stuff we want to do so in that vein let's just go ahead and unpause it let's get the time rolling forward um, so we can hopefully burn through that that time here now, one thing I have been doing is I've been watching some playthroughs um, from a few YouTubers I like to watch um, who have been playing the game using the new Reaper's Do expansion, and I really like what I'm... Oh my goodness, look at all this internal rebellion going on. Uh, as I was saying, um, I kind of like what I see out of it. I like the, the uh, increase in sophistication of the disease mechanics in the game. And some of the other features that it provides. I haven't really gotten around to seeing if I can get this series to work with it or not. But I might try that at some point. To see if I can get the DLC and then... It looks like they're losing to the revolt. And maybe get it running here. But I'm not optimistic about that. Because a lot of times, DLC patches are not exactly save game friendly. I definitely know the Conclave wasn't. Oh, Ursuline Uprising is declared 5th Rustman Ursuline Revolt on High Fabricator Rachel. Ursuline Rebels have risen up in Pentenbach. All right, let's see. Where are you? Over here. We have a good supply of gold, so we're just going to march the retinue over there and deal with it. Who are you at war with? Defend against Duke Stephanus of Tidewater and revolt against the rule of Emperor Brutus the Cruel. Oh, Tidewater's revolting? Ah. Looks like they still have a revolt going on. Defending against Emerald of Emerald's Host and Emerald's Conquest of Low Country. Okay. Hmm. We got some internal issues. And we were having some adventurer threats, but it doesn't look like they amounted to much. Um, perhaps some of the people they were trying to recruit from... Uh... We're not amenable to that proposition. So what is going on here? We have... Gilbert of Michigan to revolt as you assert the title of Enterprise of Gary from Virgil Portage. We have a Michigan to revolt. We have an Appalachian revolt. Ooh, that's right. We need to throw you an yet. Do it. Oligarch Anne is no longer Marshal for High Fabricator Rachel. Okay. Uh, these guys are sieging. Defending against Governor Irwin of Allegheny and Second Allegheny in War for Sarah's claim on Delmarva. Allegheny is trying to take Delmarva? I don't like that. Uh, 
But I'm guessing I can't enforce Realm Peace. No, I can't. Uh, so that's going to have to be something I have to clean up at a later date. Spent a lot of time exploring and thinking about how things work. So, what's this? Loses curious and gains shrewd. Ooh! It feels great to learn. Very nice! This is turning into a pretty nice character. Governor Alderost, the just, has usurped the title of Enterprise of whatever this is from Oligarch David the Seducer. Okay. We've already got to clean up Hudsonia. Uh, next time that comes around. Ooh, children lack of focus. My kinswoman uh, will just see fussy, curious, and willful. Uh, let's go with intrigue education. Yeah, let's do that. Great Lakes, Duchy Superior, Old Dominion. Ooh, we can create the Old Dominion. By all means, let's create the Old Dominion. And let's make Piedmont... Viceroy of the Old Dominion. Send it. Got ourselves a new kingdom title. Stuart. I guess we'll hand it out to you. It's fine. Unmarried heir. Vassal inheritance warning. Oh, one of the revolts. I'm not worried about that. I wake up in the middle of the night, my heart racing and my whole body feeling strange. What was I really dreaming about? That farmer lass I met earlier. Lass. Lad. Uh, does it tell me what the effects are? My uncle. Ew. I was just thinking about her. I, you know. Yeah, this is definitely an event that isn't properly written for a female character. Oh, no, it is! Because I can get the homosexual trait. Oh, I thought it was just a bug. Let's see. Gains homosexual, loses ch chaste, loses, gains homosexual, gains lustful. Um, it's a fertility hit, vassal opinion hit. I'd rather not take it. I uh, will lose the prestige. Oh, well, now I know what that event is. Yep, fertility is too important, especially for a female character, because their reproductive years are significantly shorter than a male character's is. So making sure that we produce proper heirs within the time frame, though it probably wouldn't be a problem um, with this character since she's so young. Uh, why are we taking attrition here? Uh, let's just move you all the way down to Albany. Oh man, that is... that's bad. I fabricator Rachel is inherited tycoon ship of Columbia from tycoon Bentley of Columbia. Governor Bentley is no longer chancellor. Okay. I guess we'll make you chancellor. That's fine. Chancellor position really isn't all that important right now. Improved diplomatic relations. Um, so we need to hand this back out. Cumberland. Shenandoah. Allegheny holds Shenandoah. Uh, I'll have to clean that up. 
age nine. Prince Theodore of Columbia. Let's see. Grant Vice Royalty, a tycoon of Columbia. Go ahead and do that. Dover not come over? Transfer vassalage of Dover, right? Prince Vassalage. Fort Wayne, no, of Evansville. Vincennes. What? De Jure Kingdoms, yeah, that is De Jure part of Columbia. Why can't I transfer you? Yep, they're directly under me. Uh, let's we'll send him with some with some troops. Stand down the levees. Uh, dimension's too big. Hopefully, once we are sixteen, that dimension's too big is gonna be go away because we'll get some should get some stewardship boosts. Regency for High Fabricator. Rachel has ended. Finished my education stewardship. And I find that I have a talent for it. I became a fortune builder. To do things right, it includes not doing them too much. Let's see, uh, I lose a trait conscientious, gain the trait temperate with a 20% chance of getting stressed. And it does not appear I got stressed. And yes, now I have proper dement size. Alright, now we go through the events. Gain two learning. Oh, we'll gain one learning. Keep the fertility. Oh, you know what it is? I probably couldn't transfer the titles because I was under a regency. Let's see. No, no. I could transfer titles. This won't let me transfer it over. Which is dumb. If I revoked his title... Oligarchy of Shannon. Wait a minute, hold on. What? Oligarchy of Shannon. That's why. No. Oligarchy of Shenandoah. The Jour Duchies. Shannon. Oh, transfer. Uh, what? Yes, revoke the oligarchy of Shenandoah. Yes. All right, now I should be able to transfer vassalage of Dover, yes. And I should be able to give you the landed title of Shenandoah, right? Does your kingdoms. No, 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 Shenandoah should actually be part of the old dominion. So you should get the landed title of Oligarchy of Shenandoah. Except they don't want to give it to it. Can I give... Can I give that to you? Because I don't want it. Alright, we'll just give it to him then. And now we need to get married. Gain Marshal, sharing the knowledge. All right, so let's see who we might be able to marry. Search all. Men, 
not in prison, not married, not rulers. My religion, um, any culture, adult, any, actually, great house, any. Let's see, genius, who do we got? We have a 34 year old, Irwin, court chaplain. Age of the of the male in the marriage doesn't matter. Let's see. Will you be willing to arrange marriage matrilineally? Oh, they have to be in the court. Can I invite them to court? No. Can I invite... I can only invite adults. Alright, what about quick? Are there any quicks that we can get? Yes, let's see. Someone who is pretty good, you. No, it has to be from the court. Okay, can I invite you to court? No. If I just do court... These are the only men in the court that meet this description. Hmm, let's see, if I take, if I do this, and I hit matrilineal, so this is the pool, possible matrilineal marriages. All right, let's see, genius. Quick, there's one quick, eight-year-old. Really don't want to wait on that. Uh, let's see, strong. 33-year-old strong. That works for me. Stance, not that great, but it should be fine. You, matrilineal marriage, yep, send that off. Oh, we need to pick a character focus. But, okay, let's see. What's our current stats? Pretty well balanced, all told. Let's go ahead and take... Family. For the fertility and the diplomacy. Let's select that. Uh... Let's see, we want to take the gold? Let's take the prestige. Alright, let's see. Some diplomacy. Inherited Tycoon Ship is superior from Tycoon Rachel the Cruel. Superior came back. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Groom and heir. Yep, go ahead and do that. Title loss and succession with superior. Disband the retinue, because I don't need it. Uh, what am I doing? Direct vassals. Let's take a look. De your kingdoms. At a festive outing in the wall, I found a message. It will never happen. Well. Nope. No interesting genetic traits, and he has lover's pox. No. Alright, so let's take you, grant you the vice royalty. There we go. We do have to clean this up at some point, which I probably could have done, but not this early in her reign. Governor Aldo Rost's justice has brought peace to a troubled province. Fewer crimes committed and fewer complaints are heard in the province. The peasants have never been happier. I'm very glad to hear it. Alright, we can usurp. The Oligarchy of Copperland. Okay, interesting. 
We could hold a grand tournament, have a salvage expedition. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hold that grand tournament as kind of celebration for our coming of age. My heir is unmarried. That doesn't matter. We should be having a new heir soon. A new designated regent. You. New commander. You. T took a good look at myself and thought about my weaknesses and strengths. After many hours of soul searching, I realized I have nothing to be ashamed of. I gained proud. That doesn't really hurt me much. Humble. Piety. Looks like we did not gain humble. Okay. It's time to let the tournament begin, and for the next two months, all show their martial brilliance. I guess Virgil of Chop Tank has tragically been wounded. Alright, yep, the woundings and killings will begin. Wounded. Another guy got wounded. Oh, and this guy got killed. That guy got maimed. Which is even worse than wounded. Actually, wounded is not bad to get. My liege. Rustwin von Georgetown has tragically been wounded. Um, hold on. Enforce realm. You guys are not gonna agree with enforcing realm peace? Really? Is the council discontent? No, the council isn't discontent. Oh, maimed, wounded, wounded, wounded. Because wounded heals to scarred, and scarred scarred actually gives you a prestige bonus. Maimed is the one that actually you know hurts your health and that kind of stuff, which makes you more susceptible to dying prematurely. Ludweis of Henrietta fought his way to the third place. Paul of Chelsea's bravery won him second place. Andres has been crowned the winner. The tournament is over and now it is time to bask in the glory. Glorious event. And the other thing we want to do with a ruler who is fresh coming of age is to go on a salvage expedition. Uh, Rust cultist. Let's see if we can get a province that is not Rust cultist. It's been a while since I've done a salvage expedition. Ah, Angeline. Yes, that's where we'll go. Uh, consult the tech priests. Indianapolis? What? Assemble a battle hardened warband. Roxy is no longer Chancellor for High Fabricator Rachel. Okay. Heritage Tycoon Ship of Hudsonia from Tycoon Maynard to Sword of Vulcan. Governor Maynard is no longer Spymaster. Okay. So send envoys ahead to smooth travels. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, let's see. Can Sus, can you, Amanda, get transferred? Transfer vassalage. Evansville, Vincennes. Uh, who's your liege? Your liege is me. This is Susquehanna, right? My liege, it pains me to say, but there's a traitor in the realm. This rotten egg is plotting your downfall. I enclose a damning evidence in this letter. Your loyal servant, Barrack. This seems fishy. I should notify the supposed plotter. Right, we set out with our men. 
is because they're in the middle of a revolt. Let's see, make him disappear? No. Uh, let's gain some prestige. I need a spy master. Just somebody, you. Because I can't discover plots without a spy master. Salvage and Woodstock. Your expedition has turned up a few items of useful salvage and the ruined buildings and tunnels. You have uncovered several artifacts of the old world, though you have not yet found the kind of major prize you were hoping for. Hawk the trinkets. Let's go look for something else. Okay. Let's see. If I hand this, this out to... Um, let's go you. If I grant you voice royalty... Actually, what's the du jour kingdom's palisades should be in here. So if I transfer vassalage of palisades, why can't I transfer vassalage of palisades? See, Emperor Enterprise of Palisades and Barony. Yeah, he holds a Barony and the Enterprise title, so he doesn't hold anything else. It's not du jour. So why will it go if I say Grand Vice Royalty? See, this is part of this. Oligarch Yuji to Mohawk Valley. Oh, Mohawk Valley. That's why we need to retract some vassals. All right, we need to retract Palisades. Yep. Uh, at least we found something. You have discovered a long hidden supply of old world glassware. All right. Let's see, keep the salvage for myself. Let's get the piety and the moral authority. Alright, so, and then we're gonna take you and say we're gonna attract your vassal. Uh, Providence as well. So, yes. Say you shouldn't have that vassal any longer. Okay. So, Providence should now be directly under me, yes. All right, so now I should be able to take, actually let's slow it down here a little bit. I should be able to take Providence, transfer it, or Palisades, transfer it there. Yes, okay. Uh, does your kingdoms add a Rondag? Uh, what does my vassal opinion look like? It's generally pretty good, so... Let's see, if I decided I want to revoke his title of Long Island... Everybody will approve of it, okay. This is directly under me as well. So, what's this? Monmouth. Okay, so I should be able to grant you transfer vassalage of Monmouth. There's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing troops. Okay. Yes, no, we want to grant landed title of Long Island. What? Oh. 
Hold on, can I buy a favor? Request council support? Yeah. What's this? Raiders? Alright, so he will support me, so I should be able to now grant landed title. Long Islands. I thought it was going to support me, right? Betrothed can marry. My courtier. For some reason, they won't now. The favorite oligarch, Florence Stonewall, to force them to join all their factions. Uh, that really won't matter to me at all. Uh, come on, transfer vast, or no, grant landed title. This is a little annoying. Now it'll do it. Alright, send it. Well, my court, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am surely with child, my husband will be pleased. All right. Okay, let's take a look at this some more. Who are you? Oligarch of Cayuga. Ah, Cayuga. You. Revoke title. Monmouth, yes. Uh, it's probably the last bit of uh, arrangements we're going to be able to do. Grant landed title. Uh, Monmouth, yes, send it. Okay, there we go. And now we need to give this out to somebody. Somebody we didn't just anger by doing all of that. Uh, let's see, you? Uh, no. What about you? Uh, what's the opinion look like? Not great. Guess we'll just go with you. Grant Vice Royalty Tycoonship of Hudsonia. Send it. Alright. This can be disbanded. I don't need that. All right. Sesquihanna. I still can't transfer vassalage here, can I? Right, let me take a look, a close look at the titles. Oligarchy of West Susquehanna. Probably can't transfer a full oligarchy title. Or I can just let it sit there and the next time Alleghenia comes back. Let's see. Can I like assassinate this guy? Uh, maybe. Yep, yeah, okay, so for that, we'll just wait until Alleghenia comes back, and then once Alleghenia comes back, then we'll hand it back out, and it should take care of the problem. Alright, but we've got Gotham sorted out pretty well. We just have this piece over here. Um, du jour duchies. Uh, we don't have enough of that duchy. But yeah, we definitely wanted this uh, loose... So that can go into the Kingdom of New England when we take that, which isn't going to be right now. How many troops can I command? 76,000 troops. How many troops can he command? 80,000 troops. Okay.
Hmm. Can I appoint some of these guys? Yes. Can I enforce round peace? Yes. There we go. End all these rebellions. Man, my viceroys really, really stink at keeping their uh, realm stable. All right, well, we are well past the 30 minute mark, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to end this episode here. Um, we did a little bit of reorganizing, and we are now of age, so we can go ahead and get some war started. I think we might go ahead and do Red Code Dominion and hope that we might be able to knock around their army piecemeal. Maybe we'll have to hire in some mercenaries. But we'll go ahead and get that done most likely next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.